Hey guys, I'm back again, solo. Um, we have a another very special beer that Mike is not going to get to enjoy because, you know, life, shit, whatever. Um, Canon 8, 1127, today is June 5th, so I figured I'm going to drink it. Um, this is another beer from The Vale, and not sent to us by our friends at Beer Snobs United. Um, this was actually sent to us by our good buddy Larry, who made a trip to Richmond and also sent some Vale and some Triple Crossing and some other stuff which you're going to see on this channel very soon. Um, so this is the Vale's I Don't Ever Want to Be You. Um, they have multiple variants of it, uh, different versions of dry hopping, I think. Um, this is this comes in at 9.3%. The commercial description, don't sound too much like Greg, but the commercial description is hopped exclusively with citron mosaic, zero bitterness. This one is just insane. Drinks like it's 6 or 7%, but clocks in at 9%. Straight up hop juice. I don't know if that's the commercial description. Probably should have read it before I did it on air. Um, that sounds more like a description someone who wrote after they drank the beer. It sounds like a review, actually. Um, I didn't read any reviews. Um, I just accidentally looked at the score because I'm a beer advocate. Um, but let's get this motherfucker in a glass. We're using our Trillium The Streets glassware. Um, if any of you guys know in the comments what this glass is called, and don't comment and say the streets glassware because, duh, I know that's silly. Um, actually, I probably get a little bit more on there. Perfect pour, perfect pour. So that looks one finger pearly white head. Let's take a look at camera number two. Just look at that. Just is some nice big bubbles there. Um, pretty, pretty good size, um, but the rest of it's pretty compact. Um, it's staying pretty fluffy. Um, yeah, it's kind of a dark tangerine orange, um, super fucking hazy. Just looks fucking gross. It's like dirty. It looks fucking great. Um, I've never had this. Um, I've definitely seen like online all the different variants stuff like that that they had. I think I've seen a couple of reviews of different variants. I don't know if I've seen a review of this. I, I know Anthony at Beer Sobs has, has, has done a couple of them or at least one of them. Um, it's going to know which I already did. Hmm. It's like I said, 11.27, so it's a little over a month old. I know Mike's rule and I, Mike and I is Mike, myself and Mike's rule, Mike and I's rule, not to review a beer over a month old, but we kind of threw it out the window recently with some trillion beers we've had. We're like, hey, sometimes month is really where we want them. That's what, this is definitely more of the blueberry mosaic uh, forward, not getting much of the citra. But you're getting that crackly malt. With, with that blueberry ish from the mosaic, the cracker mall is what I always get from mosaic too. So if you don't get that from mosaic, it's me, I'm weird. Um, let's get a taste. Yep, that's the veil. Their yeast reminds me so much. I said it before in previous reviews. Um, that the yeast reminds me of, of treehouse yeast. Just that that like super sweet, super ambrosia salad, like the marshmallow, the syrupy candy sweetness that just just coats your mouth. You're getting that. You getting some bitterness right up front. You're getting the crackery malt. You're getting a little bit of blueberry. Then that ambrosia salad the whole time, though, that ambrosia salad is kind of sliding in between all of it. And just is like, hey, I'm here. I'm sweet. I'm sweet. I'm sweet. I'm sweet. And remind you of Treehouse this whole time. But I'm not Treehouse. I'm the veil, and I'm still fucking delicious. And I'm 9.3%. But I don't taste like it. Almost like a quarter on this beer. Um... It's definitely mosaic forward. I'm really one, really wondering if um, it being over a little over a month old, the citra kind of fell off. Um, but uh, mosaic's been my jam lately, so this is really hitting the spot. Um, I really want to suck this beer down hard, but I 
want to do another review and play some video games. So maybe I'll put this in the fridge, do the other review, take it off with the video games. It's a good idea. Super. But the more I really like the crackery malt part. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments. Uh, get the spear if you can, obviously. Um, the Veil always, always kicks, always kicks fucking ass uh, with their can art too. Like, I don't ever want to be you. The question is, is it the dad that doesn't want to be his daughter or is it the daughter that doesn't want to be the dad? Um, I have a three-year-old. I would really hope. Well, she can do whatever she wants. I'll still love her regardless. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. If you've had this, let me know in the comments if the citra comes through more when it's fresh or if the mosaic – or if it actually is supposed to be this this mosaic uh, forward. Um, yeah, but I definitely try this. Get this beer. It's the veil. Duh. Get it. If you're in Richmond, get it. Um, so, yeah, thank you, Larry, for sending this. I uh, can't wait to get him back on the podcast at some uh, – video cast and podcast at some point, uh, maybe the next couple months. Um, yeah, so let me know, um, again, what you think of it. If you had it, don't like it, like it. And then NerdSense.net from there. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Google Plus. All right, I probably should maybe not do the other review. Anyways, uh, I'm Sean. This is NerdSense Drinks. But right up front, you get... Um, <laughs> commented on one of no hypes um, reviews earlier of a Bell's barrel aged stout um, black milte milte whatever um, which I had too and he made a comment about the mouthfeel and I made a comment saying yeah I knew there was something I put my finger on and then he just responded with the comment was I just wish it was thicker so immediately in my head I thought that's what she said started cackling like a five year old and then I had to pause the video because I'm not professional whatsoever and then I immediately had to text Kyle and tell him exactly what happened and then I, w with a picture of the screen um, anyways sorry um, back to the beer that I 